I've met someone. Ha! You don't think I know that you flirt on these business trips? I'm in love with her. <laughs> Carlton, get serious. I'm quite serious, Yolanda. I'm leaving you. Ha! <laughs> You're leaving me? It probably doesn't surprise you. You knew it was coming. Are you out of your mind? You want to leave me? What are you going to do? You've sponged off me for years. If I didn't help you over these years, you'd be a slut on Albert Street, and you know it. You can't talk to me that way. I hope not to talk to you ever again. You can't leave me. I won't let you. It's too late. I've met the woman of my dreams. I cannot live this lie anymore. Who is she? I want to know. Well, it's me, Orlando. I'm the love of Carlton's heart. I should have known it'd be a relative of Tammy's. Does stealing husbands run in the family? Why doesn't it surprise me that you would blame your marriage in the toilet on me? Carlton, I thought you would have done better. That's why he's moving on from you. You whore. You're calling me a whore? You homewrecker! Stop, 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 stop. Mother, father, stop it. Is this how my baby's grandparents should be acting? There's only one grandparent here, dear. And it's not your father. Don't you dare do that. What? You wanted to leave me? Heidi, your father is leaving us. I'm leaving you, not Heidi and Emma. Mother, I'm sorry, but I will still have a relationship with Daddy regardless. Thank you, sweetie. Well, that would be fine, dear, if he really was your father. What? What are you talking about? Daddy, what is she talking about? <laughs> No, I'm sorry. Yolanda is off on a personal matter. Uh-huh. No. No, I don't know when she's coming back. Clive, I finally found you. What are you doing here? There's something that you need to know. Why are we at Clive's office? I don't know. They can send to meet him here. Well, why would Aiden and Jade want us to meet them at Clive's office? I'm not sure. I know this must be uncomfortable for you, seeing that you just broke up with them. But you're one to talk. You're the one that had twins with them. No, oh, please don't remind me of that. That was a long time ago. I don't know. I just don't like the sounds of this. What did Aiden say he wanted to talk to us about? He didn't say. Oh, here they are coming down the hall. Yeah, here I am. You made it. Of course. And what did you want to talk to us about? And why here at Clive's office? I think we should just go in and see Clive. Well, tell her, Carlton. Don't lie to her anymore. You want to break this family up? This is what you have to face. <laughs> what is she talking about, Daddy? Your mother's a real bitch. Fine, I'll tell her. Heidi, this man is not your father. He never has been. Of course he's my father, Daddy. Tell me. <laughs> it's true. I'm not your biological father. <laughs> no, no, that can't be. <laughs> Heidi, I wanted to tell you. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I didn't want to break your heart. <laughs> no. So... Then you're not my father. I tried to tell you, dear, when you were little. 
but it was just too hard. <laughs> favorite cookies. You made me peanut butter cookies. And you get to have one just as soon as they cool. Mommy, where is Daddy? He's working, dear. But there's something really important that Mommy wants to tell you about your father. What? Is he going to bring me back a present? I love Daddy. I love Mommy too. And I love our family. I love our family too, sweetie. This can't be happening. Heidi, please. You know I love you. You know I love Emma. You're still my daughter and my granddaughter. <laughs> no. No. I don't want you to be part of my life or part of my baby's life. You stay away from me. I never want to see you again. <laughs> Heidi. <laughs> Heidi, no. I hope you're happy now. Don't even bother coming home. I'll have all your things sent to charity. Now get out of my way. I wanted them all to come, so they can hear the truth. Truth? Truth about what? Well, are you going to tell them, Aiden? Tell us what? What's going on here? It's about Ren. And how you and Yemi are going to be grandparents. What? No, you're not pregnant with Ren's baby. That's exactly what I'm saying. And it's true. Ren? When did that happen? When Ren came back to Shaplow, after the dark side fell. Ren wrote me a note saying that he was off to bury Shaylin. Hayden, you told me Ren was off to see the world. Why wouldn't you tell me that he was seeing Sally? I didn't know. None of us knew. Well, where's Ren now? Maybe he doesn't know. We need to tell him. Sally, how can we find Ren? He's going to be a father, and I'm going to be a grandmother. Well, if Ren has his medallion, we should be able to get a hold of him. Of course. You both have your magic back, don't you? I have his medallion, but I left it in Chaplow. How did you get his medallion? I found it in his room. Why would Ren leave to see the world without his medallion? He wouldn't be able to do very much magic without it. He won't be needing his medallion anymore. Isn't that right, Aiden? I hope you don't mind me coming over, Tammy, but Beth told me to get on this right away for you. Frances, I'm just so appreciative that you came, and I know Beth is working on a couple of huge cases. Well, I'm up to speed on things, and I think we can go forward with your husband's will. Well, that's what I need to talk to you about. Certain things have changed regarding his will. Oh, really? Such as? I don't know how to tell you this, but Nick is not dead. Pardon? What do you mean he's not dead? He's been dead for over eight years, Tim. Well, I think I have to update you. And please do. Hi. Can we talk? To Hetty. Or should I say Carlton? How could you? How could you do it? Heidi, my dear. I know I hurt you. But that's the last thing I wanted to do. Well, you've lied to me all my life. All my life. I never wanted you to know that I wasn't your biological father. I didn't want to hurt you, and I didn't want to hurt your mother. Yeah, well, you can't blame mother for this one, can you? Your mother lied to me. She led me to believe that you were mine. That's why we got married. She didn't tell you, did she? I didn't find out till years after. That's why I'm crushed. Yeah, like I am now. Heidi, I'm still your father in every way that counts. You have to then believe. Then don't leave mother. I 
don't want you to leave my mother. I can't stay with your mother, Heidi. I don't love her. You have to believe that. I know mother can be overbearing most of the time, but we're a family. At least I thought we were a family. And now here you go, you want to wreck this family. And you're not even the father that I thought you were. I still want to have that with you, but not with your mother. I have no connection with her anymore. I want it with you. I don't know if I can do that, Daddy. I mean, all I've ever wanted was my own baby, and now I have that with Emma. All I've ever wanted was to have a loving family and have two loving grandparents for my baby, and I almost had that. And now you want to destroy it all. Next, on Tammy. Who have we got over here? He's living in the suit. Well, it serves you long to write. She never loved her to his husband. Oh, Tammy, I'm worried about Heidi. It's the truth. It was a terrible accident. 